Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. You got to be the guy that's in control of how you spend your fucking money on junk. Street Beast. That was the name of this car. What was the name of the company before Street Beast? Classic Motor Carriage. CMC. Okay. What was the name of this company before CMC? Fiber Fab. Okay. Fiber Fab Corporation. All right. Do you see what I'm saying? They're out of business. There will never be another 34 Ford Coupe like this ever built. Okay? The mold has been broke. The mold has been sold. The molds have went to the scrap iron yard. They are gone. This is an icon. Okay? This is uh, an icon in street rod history that you're looking at. Okay, it's an end of an era. It's an end of an era that says, you will not fuck me no more, street beast. I know how to build a street beast. I can take a street beast car and build that cocksucker blindfolded. I have built over 250 of these fucking cars. I build the thing right. You want me to tell you why? Let me tell you why. Get this fucking heater out of the way. Okay. Let me tell you why I know how to build them. Because I have feelings for the person that's going to drive that car. Okay. I have a heart and a soul that says a human being will be driving this car. And if that car is not built proper, if that car is not built like a real fucking car should be built, my ass is on the line. Because he will wreck in this car and kill himself. And whoever the fuck else is in this fucking car with him will die. You think you want to go get a kick car and build it at home? You better know your fucking P's and Q's, pal. Because this, my friend, is a death trap waiting to fucking kill you, your wife, and your kids. And maybe the person that you ran over... Or the motherfucking dog that you just hit. Do you see what I'm trying to say? This is a real live car with a real motor in it. A real transmission. Brakes that need to work. Okay? This is not a plastic model. This is not a uh, build-it-yourself, uh, okay, I'm going to hang this and put it on my shelf toy. Okay? But the manufacturer that builds these cars doesn't give a shit. The manufacturers that build these kit cars are not interested in your safety. The only thing they are interested in is your money. Read the fucking fine print and you'll find out. There's nothing in there that says anything about safety. There's nothing in there that says anything about your life. The only thing that says in there is no refunds. Okay? Of course, it's, you know, the paragraph's this fucking long. Look, it's so big, I gotta come back here, see? That tells you you're not getting a refund. Okay? The fine print on their contracts, it states that uh, 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 you just got fucked in the ass. Okay? And we're laughing at you all the way to the bank. Okay? Do you think Street Beast was the only company out there that did this? No. There's companies out there right now performing the same procedures of sticking it in your fucking ass. Okay. But you know, that's the situation you have when there's trying to find a solution, okay, when you're trying to find the solution of spending your hard-earned money, okay? Don't be a fool, don't be an idiot, okay? Don't be a jerkwad, don't stick it in your own fucking ass and let these type of people laugh at you while they're driving to the bank with your money in their pocket. We got Charlie the Jailbird here today. How you doing, Charlie? Uh, 
Okay. What do you think about kit cars, bud? What is your opinion about a kit car, Charlie? They're all right, I guess. They're all right? Work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Can you build that car at home in your garage? Would you be able to do that, Charlie? With a hammer and chisel? Because yeah, that's, that's, the, the, that's yeah, what yeah. these companies, that's what these corporations, or these companies put out, that you can build this car at home. No, it takes a lot more than a hammer and chisel. Yeah. A lot more. It's definitely not. It's <laughs> definitely not taking a rock and making a sculpture, is it? No. Yeah. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. We got to get on our 34 coupe over here because uh, we just got the doors done yesterday, Charlie. Now we got to take the doors off. Take them off. Look how clean those doors look inside there. Yeah. Remember they were full of wires and shit yeah. and crap because whoever fucked with it before didn't know what the fuck they were doing. <laughs> yeah. But you can do this at home. In your spare time, all by yourself. And if you need any help, if you need any answers, call my friend Pete before you fuck it up. My phone number's always on, the, on my videos. My phone number's always there. I'll answer all the questions you want. And if you need some help fixing your car, getting your car built, okay? I'm not telling you to bring it to me. Find a reputable shop. Find somebody that you can trust. Someone that's been in business. Somebody that has a reputation to help you along with your street rod. Your kit car. Your fiberglass manufactured kit car that you might have got fucked in the ass on. Am I right, Charlie? Yep. There's a lot of these guys out here. Yep. A lot of guys out here. A lot of guys that got screwed in the ass. You might even be one of them. Am I right? Yeah. We're talking to the guy right now. That's the guy that got fucked. Yep. This is the guy right here. This yep. is the guy. See, he's looking at this video, laughing at me, thinking, <laughs> God, that guy's funny. He's laughing at me. I am laughing at you, pal. You got fucked in the ass. You got taken for it. The joke's over. Let's get your car built. Let's have a good fucking time, and let's go street riding. Take it easy. My friend Pete, your friend Pete, everybody's friend Pete, showing you, helping you along the way, giving you the right advice so you don't get stuck up in the fucking ass. And taken for a ride. Is there anything you got to say, Charlie the Jailbird? No. Nope. Give us a call if you need some help. See you later. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.